We're going to look here at this solids in contact question involving an auxiliary projection. Determine the projections of the smallest sphere which touches the sphere B at a point 39 mm above the horizontal plane and is also in contact with the cone A. At this point I would advise you to get out your highlighter and highlight the important parts of the question. So it must be the smallest sphere which touches the sphere B at a point 39 mm above the horizontal plane and is also in contact with the cone A. You will get the most out of this question if you pause this video, go and get a blank sheet of paper and sketch out the solution of this first before I go through it here on the video. So we know it's the smallest sphere. So that is between the cone which is here in red and the sphere which is here in blue. And it's also 39 millimeters above the horizontal plane. So we know it's going to be somewhere in around here and it's going to be up 39 millimeters off the horizontal plane. Now, I know if it's the smallest sphere, it must be contained on the plane containing the two centers here. It has to be. So if we join the two of those there in our plan, we know that the center of our new sphere has to lie along that line, if it's the smallest sphere. So we're going to look along that, perpendicular to that plane, and we're going to create an auxiliary elevation. So you can see there in our SOLIDWORKS model, we're drawing in an auxiliary elevation of our cone and our sphere. So that's going to give us the great circle here in blue and the extreme generators here you can see in red and our sphere has to go between those. We know it's 39 millimeters above the horizontal plane and it touches the sphere B at that point. So if we come up 39 millimeters above a horizontal plane that is going to give us our point. We also know it's a contact with the cone A along this line here as that's the, our extreme generator in our auxiliary elevation. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to bring a normal out through that point and I know that I'm going to have to draw a tangent line at that point down to where that meets our extreme generator line. So you're going to have to continue on your extreme generator line. The center of our sphere has to lie between those two lines. So if we bisect that angle that is going to give us the center of our sphere, the smallest sphere that will fit between this cone here and this sphere down here. We're going to carry that back then to our plan. So we carry back our center back to our plan and that's going to give us our sphere here on our plan. Note the hidden detail there when I draw in the sphere. We're going to carry that up then up to our elevation. Now where are we going to get our height? This here is an elevation, this here is an auxiliary elevation. So if we transfer the height from our auxiliary elevation to our original elevation, that's going to give us the height of our sphere. So you can see here it is marked in a light blue line. Note also your hidden detail above there in your plan along your cone also. Now the last thing we need to do is we need to find our points of contact. So automatically we have one point of contact which is 39 millimeters above our horizontal plane. So if we drop that back to our plan and bring it up to our elevation we have one point of contact. So as we know this one is up 39 millimeters from our horizontal plane as it states in the question. To get our other point of contact we know we'll have to come perpendicular from this extreme generator in our auxiliary elevation. We're going to carry that point back to our plan and we'll carry it up to our elevation. The 
the height is the same as our auxiliary elevation and we just transfer it over that has given us one point of contact here between the purple sphere here and the red cone and also between the purple sphere here and the blue cone and that is our question fully complete